Government will start evacuating Zambians resident in Ukraine in advent of the war which has broken out in that country. President Haka Indehichilema says the country has already started preparations for the safe removal of the 141 non-Zambians in Ukraine. The president has said this through Foreign Affairs Minister Stanley Kakubo. Speaking during a media briefing in Lusaka today, Mr. Kakubo has assured that the Zambians, most of whom are students, will return home safely. Mr. Kakubo has also said Zambia will maintain its position on the matter through its support to the diplomatic peace efforts being undertaken by the international community. Um, I would like to inform the country that in view of the unfortunate turn of events in the Republic of Ukraine, especially in the last 24 hours, Mr. Aka Inde Ichilema, the President of the Republic of Zambia, has made a decision to begin the, the evacuation process of citizens, of Zambian citizens in that country. As you may be aware, government had earlier indicated that we would continue to monitor the situation in Ukraine very closely and that the Zambian Embassy in Moscow has been in constant touch with our nationals regarding this issue as it unfolds. The public may also wish to note that we have 141 known Zambians, most of them students, pursuing their studies in various cities across Ukraine. U.S. President Joe Biden has called a meeting of the U.S. National Security Council to discuss Ukraine, a White House official says, and French President Emmanuel Macron says his country will hit Russia with sanctions of the same level of aggression as the country is guilty of. He says Russia could expect tough sanctions such that would hit its military, its economy and its energy sector. Meanwhile, the BBC reports that Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov says that Russia will always be ready for dialogue despite Russian forces launching a major military assault on Ukraine. A major military assault on Ukraine with reports of missile strikes and explosions near major cities. We monitored DWTV. Russian President Vladimir Putin has announced a, quote, military operation in eastern Ukraine, just as the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres was speaking at the emergency session of the United Nations Security Council, urging him to give peace a chance. The late night televised address from Putin came shortly after self-proclaimed separatist leaders in eastern Ukraine asked him for military support. It's the latest culmination in a series of escalations that began on Monday, when Putin recognised the independence of two regions in eastern Ukraine, including territory controlled by Kiev. I'm addressing the Ukrainian army. Please lay down your arms. Your granddads and your great-grandfathers did not fight the Nazis and defend our common fatherland so that neo-Nazis would seize power in Ukraine. You made an oath to serve the Ukrainian people. They are a fascist junta who have seized power. They're plundering Ukraine and exploiting its people. Don't fulfill their criminal orders. Lay down your weapons and go home. And just hours earlier, Ukraine's president made a last-ditch appeal for peace, asking Russians to stand up to their leader before it's too late. Remember to hit the like button, place a comment, and subscribe. Thank you.